Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to call a stole procedure using callable statement, right? So there we have seen how to deal with the in and out par parameter when we write the SQL procedure in MySQL database. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to uh, write a, one a stored procedure from scratch and uh, that stored procedure basically is going to return you some results in. We'll see how to collect that result set in the uh, call, uh, JDBC callable statement. So here I have a data, database is called JDBC DB and we have a table, employee table which contains three records and in this schema I want to create a, a stored procedure. So we have a different types over here, right? Uh, I have selected table so uh, right now there is only one table so that table is getting listed over here. Now let's select procedures so here if you put cursor here then saying that create a procedure let's click on this then you see a template has been given to us saying that create procedure and here you need to give the procedure name so let's give the procedure name employee get employee by id and we want to take the employee id as an input and we want to return a uh, complete employee information to the call right so we have a one input parameter so i have written in for input parameter and here i'm going to specify input parameter name so i would say emp id and type of input parameter is int so int now stored procedure begins here and closing here between that we are going to write a very simple business logic in real scenario i have a very very complex business logic but uh, here my agenda is to show you how to call a stored procedure not uh, how to write a complex stored procedure right so let's write a very uh, small business logic right uh, if if anybody gives me the employee id then i will this stored procedure will return you the complete information about the that employee id so select a star from employee table where uh, employee ID equals to uh, employee ID which is coming from the client. So that is EMP ID. Let's assign to this. And let's run this stored procedure. Now if you let's close it and if you rephrase then see stored procedure here. Now how to call this stored? Let's call it. Oh sorry. So go to the editor and let's try to call this stored procedures. Let's say call and here you will have to specify the input parameter and let's press F5 and here. So from employee ID 2 there is no data for employee 1 there is a data. So if I go to the table then for 2 there is no data for 1 there is data if you supply employee id 3 then this will return you the employee information whose id is 3 so it's working perfectly fine now let's call from the java program so here i have created a project with calling a stored procedure using callable statement 2 so here we have a utility program uh, there I have a specified database information. I have created a static block. There just I am taking the connection from the driver manager. And when client calls this method by this class dbutil.get connection this, then this created connection is going to return to the client. So here I have a I have to write uh, my stored procedure get uh, this is my stored procedure so get uh, employee by id and this will contain contain one placeholder because only one input is there right and this sql we are passing to the callable statement and now callable statement here what i'll do uh, we can take input from the keyboard by using a scanner right so let's see uh, if you go to the scanner class, press Ctrl Shift T, and if you see scanner, which belongs to the Java.util package, it's a class in Java.util package. It's implement it's implement closable interface. So scanner, a scanner also you can declare uh, as a 
try with resource right so let's put semicolon and let's use a scanner class to take input from the keyboard okay so a scanner scanner equal to new scanner Machine is a bit slow. Okay, so So I was creating object of a scanner. And taking input from the keyboard. Okay, so system dot in taking from input from the keyboard I'll prompt a message to the end user uh, sorry I'll prompt to the message I'm really sorry guys this machine is very slow right now so let's see a scanner has a method lot of method next int which gives you the uh, like emp id and here before that will prompt a message saying that enter employee id right and now we need to set uh, one input parameter because this store procedure takes one input parameter so set int you will say and index is one and you say employee id right so you supply the input parameter now callable statement cs has a method is called execute query just like a prepare statement and a statement and this returns you the result set i would say rs and here you can and this code snippet I can copy from my previous example. So let me copy some code from my previous example. So this code I'm going to copy from previous example like this while look at this is pretty straightforward. So basically you just I am iterating the result set and Uh, uh, have you got the result set result initially result set points points before the first record once you get rs dot next means if record is there then this is going to return you true so this will point to the first record and we are fetching values for the every column and that we are trying to print it over here so pretty straightforward so let's uh, run this program see what output we are getting so so if i provide output as three then this is displaying information about the call if you go to the here then three is the call so this is stored procedure is perfectly running right and even you can handle for 
the negative scenario if this returns you the false in the first statement itself first the beginning itself then you will have to display null right so that things you can handle yourself so here we have tested for the positive scenario and that's working verify right so here i hope this code uh, i'm not going to explain you again so what the meaning of this code i have explained it briefly right now but this is already covered in the when uh, i was created this project uh, how to fetch uh, data using the statement and prepare statement so already we have gone through this so here just i want to show how to call a stored procedure when a stored procedure returns you the results result set right so right now that is returning on only one result set but uh, if a stored procedure returns more than one result uh, i mean records then this will work in the same way right this will this while loop will become true more than once time one time and this will display the all records right so i hope you understood this code this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself if you have any query or doubts then please do post below to the video i will best i will try to best answer those queries and if you like this video then please hit on the subscribe button and thanks for watching this video